Hello, it's Sarah. Uh, tonight I just wanted to share some Christmas ornaments I've been making. And so here we go. Um, I had just organized some of my swap pieces that I had received before I have this little jewelry tree and I was hanging everything on there. And I came across this one. And this one was by Christy. She's twins for me too on YouTube. And it was um, for a quirk swap, I'm pretty sure. Um, an altar quirk. But she put a bottle cap on hers too. And it got me thinking. And a little dangle on the bottom. Um, because I had done quirks and I never put a bottle cap and I had done bottle caps. So then I came across these Christmas bottle caps that I had done and thought, hmm, I'm going to try and make some ornaments. So that's what I did. So the first one is my favorite. I want to show you just because it's in the blues. It's not in the traditional um, Christmas colors. And I did this with the paper pack is called Winter Wonderland. It's by the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. And I just cut a piece of paper out of the paper stack and Mod Podge it onto the cork. Just raw cork. I did nothing to the cork. Well, I just Mod Podged it. And I've done I've done shares on my corks before, so I did the same way with the Tim Holtz. Um, I never remember the name of those things, but it has room. It's a long uh, stem there to put beads on. Put a bell, put some um, ribbon for the hanger, and then I put, oh, I put a lace flower for to rep represent snow. And then I put this other little snowman image inside the bottle cap. And then these cute bead dangles. So I really like them. I think they turned out super cute. And thank you, Christy, because, I mean, you're totally the inspiration for this. I mean, I think I was going to do something with the corks because I had this box of corks that I've had. And I knew I was going to play with them and just put bead dangles on them. But then just adding the bottle cap to it, it's just better. I like it. So that's one. I made the Santa one. He turned out really cute. And again, I just Mod Podged paper onto it raw cork, put some beads on top with the Tim Holtz thingy, another bell. I tied a ribbon, put a Santa inside the, um, oh, and I wanted to mention, I definitely, I like the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic for my, um, cause see, it's got glitter in it and you don't have to do anything and it dries really quick. And then I have this cute Santa bead and some other Christmassy beads and a bell. Isn't it cute? I love it. I think they turned out so cute. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this is just some more of the paper. And I don't love this one because I, I don't love the paper. I think I'd rather do the snowman and the Santas or even like Christmas trees or something. But this words, it just says happy holidays. And I put a Santa and a reindeer inside that one. And I put a little Christmas tree charm. So that's my third one. And then this one has, these were like little stamps, I guess. The images were like stamps and gold trim around that. And then this was actually part of a charm bracelet that I took apart. So instead of a bottle cap, I used that. And then I made this stocking charm dangle and a little Christmas ornament with beads. So cute. Untied some green ribbon around the, um, on the bottom part I used, it's like a, um, I think they call it an eye screw. So I just used an eye screw on the bottom and tied a piece of ribbon to it. So that's what I made. So I'm going to make more of these. Um, I love them. And I think this will be my little, um, what I give people for Christmas, just, you know, housewarming type things if I go anywhere or whatever. Um, but thank you, Christy, for the inspiration. Um... I also wanted to talk a little bit about just bead dangles in general real quick because um, I really I came across a really good tutorial um, last night and of course I had to run out and get some beads because she was using the Jessie Jane beads. Let me see if this is coming in. And this one's like a little, it's a little fat in the middle so I think I need to lengthen my chain and get it because I've done bead dangles before. I have this one here and that's like a little longer. Because um, I've put them inside here. 
But these were just beads that I had in my stash, like pearls and crystals and stuff. And they weren't as chunky as these. These I've never used anything as chunky as these, as big as these beads um, for a bead dangle. But, um, and I didn't even, I mean, this is a huge angel. I just got huge, I got big beads for that. I don't know if it's coming in, if it's focusing. But anyway, her name is Kelly Merton. Um, she's actually awesome at like mixed media, a lot of good stuff on her channel. Um, she has a tutorial, it says tutorial for newbies to charm making parts one and two, it's two-parter. She also has um, a share, it's called purse charm. So that's what she intends this for, to like hang on purses and she makes them for people to hang on their purses, which I never knew what to do with them. So I thought, wow, that's like a great idea. So um, I, I changed a few things about how I make it and she goes over everything. It's a fantastic tutorial. So for anyone who hasn't done um, any type of dangles, go ahead and check it out. Um, there's a couple different tutorials. She has a dragonfly tutorial. Um, I think she does maybe do an angel tutorial too, which I've done those both before too. I mean, you can really do anything once you've, once you get the process, you, once you know how to, you know, put the beads together and you have the tools, you can do, um, you can make anything with them really. Um, but anyway, so Kelly Merton, check it out. And I hope you like these. They're super cute. I'm going to make more. I love them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.